Yo, what's going on guys? So in one of my last videos, I said that I am no longer gonna make any videos about uh, Bestiary vs League, but there is still one question that I am being constantly asked, which is how good is farming Bestiary in red maps compared to the white maps? So in today's video, I wanna answer exactly that. And to do that, I did a test of 100 white maps with Bestiary and 100 red maps with Bestiary. Also, I want to use this opportunity to answer some uh, other questions like is it worth farming bestiary without uh, selling yellow beasts and uh, is it worth using the sextant that duplicates the beast. Also, I am not gonna go too in-depth on how bestiary works. Uh, I already made a lot of videos about that this week, so if you are interested in that, make sure to watch them. So let's start with the setup for the white maps test. So what I did is 40 strand maps, 30 belfry and 30 fields. So in total 100 white maps. Uh, it doesn't really matter which one you go for as long as they are up to tier 4. So you can get the most amount of cricky chimeralds. And you want to obviously go for a small fast layout. So things like strand, belfry and fields are pretty good. Uh, I was using a uh, Polish Pistar Scara, which I was buying for uh, 2.5 chaos, which is uh, in my opinion the most cost efficient right now. I was also using the uh, map mod for the essence, so additional essences, and uh, for that I was using Remnant of Corruption when I would find either one purple essence or the, uh, I would say, at least three essences, uh, which are at least uh, screaming or shrieking. And also for the maps, I was uh, alchemying them, so I was just checking for any bad modifiers, nothing bad in here, and I'll just run them with Alk and Go. And the last thing is Compass, which is the one that gives you three guaranteed uh, Gilded Scarabs if you kill three possessed monsters. And this is just additional profit, you don't have to do it, it's just uh, as, uh, because maps are pretty easy, we are doing white maps, I decided to go for it, it doesn't really hurt. For the Atlas tree, I went for obviously all of the uh, bestiary points, except for the ones that give a chance for icon, icon mission, because I don't need them. And I went only for the deep, so I get as many cracky chimeras as possible. Uh, here I went also for the chance to duplicate. So this is a nice thing when you are not using the compass that uh, gives 100% chance to duplicate beasts. Uh, you can't uh, get duplication proc twice. So uh, in this case we still get 6% chance to duplicate even without the compass. Uh, I also obviously went for the seance so I can get uh, possessed uh, monsters to drop these carabs. But in combination with Unrelenting Torment, you also get some additional quantity, so a little bit more drops. And like I was saying, I was going for the Essences, so I took all of the Essence nodes, and on top of that I took Delirium, so I can drop a good amount of Delirium Orbs. If you are doing white maps, you still uh, drop a lot of Delirium Orbs, so Delirium is pretty good mechanic in combination with Beasts, uh, because it doesn't really add uh, any additional time uh, to your map. And obviously you want to do as many maps as possible per hour. And last thing is I went for singular focus uh, in combination with uh, shaping the skies and shaping the mountains to sustain my maps. Uh, so this way you're gonna have a 200% uh, more chance to drop your favorite maps. And for my favorite setup I went for one colonnade so I can drop one of the uh, tier 1 maps for tier 4 cemetery, tier 3 strand and tier 2 belfry. So I, I have uh, all of the maps from tier 1 to tier 4, so all of these tiers have chance to drop, and these are always gonna be the map I'm gonna get. So I actually ended up with a ton of maps, I'm gonna even be able to sell them, and usually you can sell them for free chaos each. And a lot of people also were asking me, can uh, they actually sell? And yes, they sell uh, actually quite fast. Even one time I by accident posted them for 5 chaos, and they still sold. So here you can see how I was clearing the map. So first thing I was doing is checking if there is delirium in the map. If there is no mirror, I would just go and continue clearing the map. And like I was saying earlier, I wanted to show you is it worth doing the bestiary without yellow map, yellow beasts. So I actually was not killing the yellow beasts. Uh, so the way I was running the map is I was just uh, killing all of the essences. I was checking the red beasts for the expensive ones, so Cricky Chimerals, Phenoma Pegarachnids, uh, Wolf Alpha and Lynx Alpha. These are the only four red beasts I would kill. And I would uh, search for free possessed monsters, for free Gilded Scarabs, 
and that would be it. I didn't even bother with uh, killing the map boss unless there was delirium. When there was delirium, I would go for uh, preferably uh, five delirium rewards, and uh, I would just kill a map boss for one additional reward from the Atlas passes. Obviously, if you don't have as fast builds, build as I have, you're gonna do it a little bit slower, but that's the best thing about uh, doing this strategy in white maps, is that you don't have to uh, play a good build. Uh, the only thing you have to focus on is just speed and a little bit of single target, so you can kill the beast and essences, and that's basically it. You should be good to go. Now let's talk about the setup for the red maps. So it's uh, pretty much the same. The only difference is I did uh, go for beach because simply i just had a ton of them and for tier 16 it's not as easy to sustain the only map that you want to run so i would just bought 100 uh, beach maps earlier for some other strategies and i ended up not doing them so i just had 100 beaches laying around so i just went for them and, and again i was uh, alchemying them so just one alk and go and i was using polish bestiaries car up with a uh, charge compass for uh, gilded scarabs and i still was using essence mod uh, for the atlas tree let me show you that on the website because i still have my uh, white maps set up so this is what i was doing so the most important thing when you're gonna be doing the red maps so the biggest difference is that you're gonna benefit from doing altars so i did go for uh, all of the uh, red altars because right now awakened sections are expensive you also get some chaos and uh, the embers but you can still go for the uh, the other one because of these uh, altars you're actually gonna clear your map uh, much longer than if you would be doing this in a uh, uh, white maps and there is quite a lot of loot to pick up so a lot of like small currency like chaos orbs uh, orbs of unmaking and so on so there's a lot of clicking which adds up to like a lot of time and if you're gonna go for the other one you're only gonna care about the uh, divine orb altar so your clear time is going to be much faster and you're only going to clear your map a little bit more if you actually get the uh, Divine Altar. And I also went for uh, additional Guardian maps because obviously in white maps you can't drop them, but in uh, reds we can. Uh, the same uh, points for the uh, Bestiary and the same points for the Delirium and also Seance in combination. Actually here I didn't go for Unlenting Torment because I just ran out of points. And the last uh, big difference is that I went for the Trial of Glory. So this way, when you're going to encounter Trial, it has a chance to be improved uh, Trial. And you actually can see it by looking at the portal. It's going to be like a very bright yellow portal. And when you find uh, that one, you're going to do it and you have a chance for a gift uh, of the goddess, which goes for uh, 1.5 divine. So you have one in three chances to drop it, which is actually quite a lot of profit. And obviously we can't encounter... Uh, trials in white maps because you have to be at least in yellow maps to do them and i didn't go for singular focus because uh, i wanted to drop just every single map and with singular focus you can't really drop guardian maps so that's why i removed it i'm just gonna drop a bunch of random maps and i did uh, block all of the mechanics except except for delirium and the uh, heist now here you can see how i was uh, clearing the red maps so the most important difference is that you're going to see the uh, altars when you're going to do the red maps. So whenever I've, I would find one of them and the reward would be kind of whatever, like, uh, I don't know, additional quantity, I would just not uh, pick anything because it's just uh, additional time. Obviously, you can pick it just to spawn additional monsters and kill them, but it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, the only time I would actually f almost full clear the map is when I would find the altar with chance to drop awakened orbs, I mean awakened sextants, uh, orbs of unmaking, chaos orbs, or uh, any uh, kind of eld uh, embers, except for maybe the lesser ones, because lesser are not that expensive. Uh, so if you find uh, one of the good altars, then you can full clear them up, so you actually get quite a lot of rewards from them. Otherwise, just do it similarly to the yellow map, uh, to the white maps, where you just uh, go through the map, kill all of the good red beasts, and in red maps there's actually a few more uh, good red beasts like Krakik Vassals, uh, Krakik Mo, uh, Tiger Alpha, uh, and the Frost Hellion Alpha. These are all of the uh, good ones in the red maps, on top of the other ones that I mentioned earlier. Uh, on top of that, I, I was always killing the map boss. So in white maps, I was killing the map boss only when 
uh, I had Delirium. Uh, here I was only always killing it because uh, now my bosses have chance to drop Guardian maps. And I was still uh, searching for uh, only the Red Bees, for Essences and for free uh, possessed monsters. But the biggest difference for uh, the Red maps is that they are much harder. And I actually didn't realize how uh, much harder are monsters. So for example, if there is an Essence that has six Essences, it also can be Beast at the same time and it also can be possessed because of Seance. And in white maps, it doesn't really matter, you're gonna kill it if you have a, obviously a decent single target, you're gonna kill it anyway. But in red maps, some of them felt like almost immortal to kill. Uh, I do have pretty good build. Uh, I am able to kill all of the uber bosses and so on. It's not like insane single targets. I'm not uh, one-shotting bosses, but still uh, most of the uh, normal essences and map bosses would just die uh, with one hit. But some essences with insane modifiers just... Uh, don't want to die, so it's definitely gonna take you longer time uh, to kill them if you don't have a build that uh, just has like hundreds of million uh, DPS. And I don't know exactly how much my build DPS because it's kind of hard cut to calculate, but it's definitely in tens of millions uh, at least. And also I forgot to mention that if I would find the improved uh, uh, trial, I also would uh, do that. Uh, remember only the improved one. And on top of that, in terms of the delirium, when I was doing white maps, most of the time I would get five rewards here. Most of the time I would get seven because I would be clearing map a little bit more because of the uh, altars. Uh, and again, I was not focusing on yellow bees. I was still killing some of them because I wanted to uh, use some yellow bees for my own crafts. Uh, so I was clearing maps a bit too much. So when you're going to see the results, you can definitely do these maps faster if you're not going to kill yellow maps at all. It wasn't like a 100% focus to kill every single one of them, but I still killed some of them if they were uh, on my way. Now finally let's look at the profit starting with the white maps. So as you can see here I did over sustain by quite a bit. Uh, I believe I dropped uh, three times as many maps as I uh, used, so there is more than 300 maps in here. And as I was saying earlier, you definitely can sell them for uh, three chaos each. Uh, they are actually there's not that many of them uh, on the trade, so whenever anyone wants to buy them, it's gonna he's gonna buy them from you. So they sell actually decently fast, especially cemeteries. A lot, a lot of people are buying cemeteries. Some of them are mirrored, but obviously these you can just use yourself. You don't have to alk every single map, so you can just use them uh, when you are running more maps. Here we can see all of the essences, so quite a lot of them. All of them I did upgrade to deafening. I always upgrade every single essence to deafening, except for the dread. I keep them as shrieking. There is some of other ones that you can keep as shrieking and they're gonna be a little bit more profit, but it doesn't really matter that much. Here you can see all of the delirium orbs that I got from delirium, and here are all of the gilded scarab from the gilded scarab sextant. And for the beasts, I did get six cracky chimerals, which to be honest is I think a little bit more than average. Average is five, but I did get actually one duplication proc from the uh, uh, Atlas tree, so I did get a little bit lucky. Uh, so it is a little bit more than average. And yes, a lot of people have been telling me that uh, sometimes they did like 50 or 100 maps and did not see a single Cricky Chimeral. And unfortunately, this strategy is a little bit RNG, so it's gonna happen from time to time, but eventually you should uh, drop more of them. And here you can see five Phenomata Garachnids, some uh, Lynxes, and quite a lot of Wolves. They are not worth that much at this point of the league, but it's still some additional profit. And here you can see I did drop one Jewel, which to be honest is not really worth anything, and I did drop one Empower, which I did not include, include in the test results. And here is the second tab, which is just a bunch of random currency. I believe most of them came from the uh, Delirium, Delirium or some Arch Nemesis uh, monsters. And uh, here you can see just some random uh, scarabs, and I did drop two divine orbs. Okay, and now let's look at the red maps. So from the red maps, as you can see, there is uh, quite a lot of uh, more different kinds of loot. Uh, there is less maps. So in white maps, uh, as you can see, there's quite a lot of white maps that dropped. In red maps, uh, less, because obviously it's harder to sustain tier 16s. So uh, I did... Uh, drop less of them but still i believe there is more than 100 here but not all of them are beaches there's a lot of other ones but if you are farming tier 16s what you can do is you can horizon orb them into the coves 
and it's one in four to horizon them into coves and coves is also a pretty good map for this uh, strategy so you can do that if you want to and here you can see all of the essences which to be honest is a very similar amount so um, the best thing about essences and doing them in white map is that you, you're not really dropping uh, that much uh, less of them so uh, there's not that much difference in here and the same thing for uh, Gilded Scara. There's literally zero difference between using this in a white on or red map. So there's exactly the same amount of Scarabs. And uh, here you can see uh, Delirium Orbs. And I believe I did drop uh, more Delirium Orbs. And I don't think it's because we are doing this in red map. I think it's mostly because I was getting uh, seven uh, rewards instead of five like in white maps. Because I was clearing maps uh, a bit more. And here you can see all of the uh, Guardian maps. Obviously, there were zero Guardian maps in white maps, but here you can see more of them. But here is the biggest question. So how many less beasts you actually get from the red maps? And as you can see here, I did get only three Cracky Chimeras. And I believe also one of them did duplicate. So I did still get lucky. Uh, without proc, I would get only two. So definitely much less Cracky Chimeral. But again, keep in mind that, like I was saying, the strategy is pretty RNG. So maybe from time to time you're gonna get drop. We're gonna get more, maybe less. Three Phenomal Pegarachnids. Uh, I did get five vassals, which go for around five chaos right now. Uh, some lynxes and wolves. Uh, quite a lot of mouse, which also go for around five chaos. These are actually kind of hard to sell, so you might not even want to uh, sell them. And I did get two Faric Frost Hellion Alpha, which go for around 50 chaos, and one tiger, which right now, to be honest, is not even worth that much. I believe also only. Uh, five chaos but early on in the league they are quite expensive and here at the bottom you can see i did get four gifts of the goddess from the improved trial and each one of them goes for 1.5 divine divine they even are probably going, going up in price so they might be more expensive so uh, not that many people are actually uh, using uh, these points and i believe they are just very profitable it's just free money I also did get two dedication, which go for a 30 chaos, and I did not get a single tribute, which is the uh, cheapest one, so I got a bit lucky. But to make it fair in the uh, spreadsheet, I actually did put two of the uh, uh, gifts as a tribute, so it is on average uh, six, uh, two of each ones, just to make it fair. And also here you can see four of uh, invitations, which are still a little bit a uh, little bit of money, around 140 chaos pair. And because we are doing red maps, that is another big difference from doing uh, red maps instead of white maps, is that you are going to drop high item level bases. And from Arc Nemesis monsters, there's a lot of fracture items. And here I got uh, item level 85, Amethyst Ring with tier 1 life, with actually even max roll. And when I was checking this on a trade, it was worth 4 divines. And I also got 2 uniques. And there is way more uniques that are good that can drop from the red maps, that can't drop in the white maps. So... That's another advantage of doing it in red maps. And I did get one Arakalis Hafang, which is 30 chaos, and one Brass Dome, which unfortunately has only 2% max rest, so it's worth only like 30, 40 chaos. And also same thing for contracts and blueprints. You're going to get higher level ones, so you're probably going to uh, make a little bit of extra money if you're going to sell them. But I decided to not include anything from this uh, corner in the test result. These things are included, but these are not. And also because we are doing red maps, you are going to drop some memories from time to time, which these ones, to be honest, are kind of cheap, but still I did not include them in the results. And the last tab is the uh, just random currency tab. And the biggest difference here is obviously, as you can see, there's way more currency, and that's mostly because of the altars. So there's quite a lot of uh, embers, a lot of sextants, and chaos orbs, which are uh, the most expensive things that you can get from the altars. Okay, so now let's finally look at the spreadsheet. So we're going to be able to compare uh, which one uh, is better, so white or the red maps. Now here, as you can see, 100 maps, uh, price for them is 3 chaos, 100 polished uh, scarabs, uh, 100 uh, map device uh, mods, I only had to use 30 orbs, so that's the advantage of not doing a uh, yellow beast, so not orbing them. You're going to save a lot of time, but you're also going to save a lot of money from not having to orb them. And I did buy 25 sextants for the Gilded Scarabs, and I'd end up using around 70 remnants, most of the time on the purple essences. And the vine right now is around 221c, and it took me 3.3 hours to do this test. 
here you can see the uh, amount of maps I dropped. So like I said, almost uh, three times as many as I used. And here's uh, price of all of the beasts. So in total, I made 2,600 chaos from the beasts and most of that money came from cranky chimeras because right now they go for around 1.5 divines. Zero profit from yellow beast because like I was saying, I wanted to test uh, can this strategy be still good without yellow bees? Because some people have been asking me about it. Uh, almost 1000 chaos from just uh, random uh, currencies, quite a lot of profit from the maps, and uh, almost 1.5k from the essences. Delirium orbs were not that expensive, so honestly, if you want to, you don't have to go for it. It's just additional free profit, so why not? But definitely don't focus on delirium and like always getting five rewards and so on too much it's just a little bit of extra profit and 1.7k from uh, scar ups and i did pay from the uh, sex and 1.1k so it's not that much profit it's 600 chaos but it's still a little bit of additional profit so you don't have to go for it it's just something extra if you uh, want to and in total i did make 26 divines uh, that's already minus profit which means i made uh, almost eight uh, divines per hour which to be honest very good for a white maps but remember my build is pretty fast so uh, if you do it maybe in 4.5 4.3 it's gonna be like 6 which to be honest is still very very good now let's compare it to the red maps so investment is pretty much the same i did uh, get a little bit more beasts so i ended up having to spend a few more orbs and the same thing for remnants i used 30 more remnants but the biggest difference here is the time it took me 4.5 hours so like i was saying red maps are way harder and also you're gonna clear them more because of the altars so it's definitely gonna take you uh, more time and here you can see uh, there's a little bit more beasts so cricket moles vassal tigers and frost hellion and i did drop uh, less maps but i still pretty much sustained them and again, uh, not, not all of them are beaches, so you're probably going to have to run coves uh, with horizon orbing into them. But they are a bit more expensive for chaos instead of free. Now for the profit from red beast, 1.5k. So if you compare it to white maps, 1.1k uh, less profit from the red beast. So definitely when it comes to just profit from beast yara, that's it, nothing else. Definitely white maps are way better for this. But when we start adding up other things, like for example, just random currency, here I got almost 1,000, here 3,000. And that is because of the altars. So altars are just crazy good profit. It's gonna obviously take away more time, but it's a very good profit with current prices of Awaken at Sextant especially. Uh, for maps, a little bit less profit from the white maps, uh, like 200 less. Essences, surprisingly, it's very, very similar. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if you're gonna do it in red on white maps. I actually expected to get more profit from the red maps from essences because uh, you should on average get a few more uh, higher tier essences from in the red maps, but maybe I just got a little bit unlucky in the red maps here, or maybe lucky in the white ones. But yeah, it doesn't matter that much. And I got uh, actually quite a lot of profit from the delirium or 600 chaos. It's still not that much compared to the other things, but uh, just as additional profit uh, but remember delirium still gets you some other things like just random currency essences and so on and also simulacrums and in red map you're actually gonna get a lot of simulacrums and here i actually included simulacrums in the uh, currency tab so this is included in the 3000 so yeah from delirium you're actually gonna get a little bit more not just the delirium orbs and 1.7k from scarab which is uh, very similar to uh, white maps because obviously we're gonna get exactly the same amount of scarabs but also additional profit is uh, trials so like i was saying i did get uh, six uh, trials uh, but i did take average of uh, each uh, so of three different ones so it's fair uh, i didn't rely on the luck that i had and i got uh, quite a lot of uh, gifts and here invitations so i did get uh, four of them and guardian maps so in total, I made 38 divines, which is uh, 12 divines more than in the white maps, but obviously it took me a little bit more time. So in total, it's 8.4 divines, which to be honest, is still more than the white maps, but it is very, very similar. And there is a good chance that if you're going to run it for a longer amount of time, maybe it's going to be even higher, maybe it's going to be lower, but it's the same thing for red maps. Maybe it's going to be higher, maybe lower. It's really going to depend on your RNG, 
how many beasts you're gonna get, how many maybe good uh, like skittering orbs, how many gifts uh, instead of the other ones you're gonna get. But the biggest things for the red map is that you are still gonna get some other big random drops, like I said here. Sometimes you're gonna get good fractures, sometimes good uniques, maybe some memories. Uh, maybe you're gonna get lucky with uh, some other things. Maybe you're gonna go for the uh, the other invitation type. So you're gonna go for uh, the divine altar, and you're gonna get it from time to time. It's just way more uh, possibilities that you can do in the red maps. Also, obviously, you don't have to go for uh, just these mechanics that I went here. You can go for some uh, other things. Maybe you can go for a legion if you want to, or. Uh, something else. It is really up to you. You're not really limited by what I did in here. And in white maps, there is a very limited amount of mechanics that are actually pretty good. But to be honest, Legion is still pretty good in white maps, and you can still do this uh, strategy in cemeteries, so you can still drop some additional uh, divination cards that are pretty good. But at the end, it is really gonna uh, depend on what build you are playing and what do you enjoy. If you just enjoy going fast without caring about anything, or maybe your build is just weak, but it's still decently fast and you can run uh, maps extremely fast, uh, I would especially recommend builds that uh, use uh, shield charge or maybe some ranger builds that are very fast. Go for white maps. If you have build that maybe is not as fast, but it has a very good single target and, and it can uh, kill uh, very hard essences that are beasts at the same time and also are possessed that are just extremely hard to kill, red maps are probably not going to be an issue for you, so you can go for that. And also if you just enjoy uh, having a bit more RNG, having a chance for some big uniques or uh, expensive trials and so on, go for the red maps. At the end, they are very similar, doesn't matter. You can do this strategy both in white or in red maps. It is gonna be up to you. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.